Starting off our list at number 10 is the Talisman of Binding Shard. This item dropped in place of one of the Binding of the Windseekers by accident. Blizzard never intended for it to be in the game, however it did drop one time before they found out, and it was awarded to a player by the name of Noctin. He was allowed to actually keep it too. So that means there's only one of this item in the entire game. Making our list at number 9 is the Talent Trees which allowed Hunters and Priests to become melee classes. Just kidding, they were never intended to be melee classes, however if a priest went discipline it was supposed to be a similar style healing to Monk currently in game, and if a hunter went survival it literally was the hunter melee class. It never actually made it to the game, but it didn't change the fact that hunters used to believe that every melee weapon still belonged to them. Making our list at number 8, we all know the NPC named Harris Pilton in Shatter a City is of course a pun on Paris Hilton. However, did you know that she actually has her friend Nicole Ritchie, who is named Ricole Nietzsche in WoW, standing right next to her. The only people that can see this though are priests who have the Eye of Divinity equipped. Making our list at number 7 is the Fluorescent Green Mechano Strider. Have you ever heard of this mount? Chances are you probably haven't because there's only one currently in the game. A European player was having issues with his mount and he deleted it by accident. He then contacted a GM and asked him to restore his mount. However, he ended up getting this mount in place of it. So he is the only person that actually owns this mount. Making our list at number 6, originally in World of Warcraft, players through many of the earlier raids were not immediately put into combat when a boss was pulled. This meant as long as you didn't damage or heal, you actually remained out of combat throughout the entire fight. So many guilds used this to their advantage and would have one lucky lazy guy just stand aside to wait and resurrect if someone important died. Making our list at number 5, in the beginning of the game, rogues and hunters were initially intended to have shields. However, these shields were called bucklers. Blizzard later decided to scrap the idea because neither of the class really needed a shield to begin with. So, bucklers still exist in the game, but they're just normal shields. On our list at number 4, in the alpha version of WoW, there was a profession called survival skills. This ability was used to make campfires and torches. However, we know campfires are now made with cooking, and the torches don't exist in the game. The torches were initially intended to help you in dark places like Duskwood, and a lot of the NPCs still carry them around. On our list at number 3 is a hidden easter egg in the game. If you turn your ambient noise all the way up to maximum in the game, and the rest of your volumes down to low, then head to the Undercity throne room, you're going to hear a really really cool dialogue. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but I will tell you that the screenshot is related. On our list at number 2 is originally certain classes were essentially required to play a specific role. If you were a warrior, you were almost always going to be tanking, and if you were either a druid, a paladin, priest, or a shaman, you were almost nearly always going to be healing. The damage of some of these classes was so subpar for a long time that it was the only viable specs for them. Finally, on our list at number 1, alchemists originally were only able to make flask in an alchemy lab. While this doesn't seem like a difficult requirement, the only problem was there were two alchemy labs, and one of them was located in Skullamance, while the other was located in Blackwing Lair. Remember everyone, if you want to support Murgle Wow, please just like, share, and subscribe to my videos, and I will talk to you again soon.